Welcome to day 26 of the second chosen devotional. The title of today's message is Ask Whatever of Him. And today we will be focusing on Mark 11, 24, which reads, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Asking for whatever sounds simple enough, but it gets more complicated when you put it into practice. The asking part is pretty straightforward. We know how to want stuff. It's the receiving bit where the wheels can fall off, you know, since we don't always get what we ask for. Since we don't know God's will and since feeling like unanswered spiritual losers is the opposite of what we're going for, not asking can seem like the better, safer option. Sure, we won't get the whatever, but at least we won't have to deal with all that pesky discouragement. Fortunately, Jesus does not share the aforementioned sentiment, and he tells us repeatedly to ask for whatever. Why? Because we want what matters to God. He baked many of those wants directly into our DNA, and there are certain whatevers that he's eager to answer for the sake of his kingdom and glory. Incidentally, the same could be said of our deficiencies. They, too, matter, and God wants to use them. But more on that later. As it turns out, God knows everything about the difficult situation you're in. He knows exactly how it should be resolved and where you're weak. Inadequate self fits into that equation. It's because of this that he invites you to ask for whatever. This isn't a new concept. God woke Solomon up in the middle of the night to extend the same offer. Solomon wasn't wise yet, but he was at the very least smart enough to take God up on it. Shortly after, Solomon was appointed king by his father David. In 1 Kings 3, 5-7-9, through 7 to 9, it reads, The Lord appeared to Solomon during the night in a dream, and God said, Ask for whatever you want me to give you. Solomon answered, Now, Lord my God, you have made your servant king in place of my father David, but I am only a child and do not know how to carry out my duties. So give your servant a discerning heart to govern your people and to distinguish between right and wrong. God was pleased with Solomon's whatever and honored his ask. Then he blessed him a silly amount of extra just for fun, making Solomon the wisest and richest man who ever lived. Why? Because God knew this situation. Solomon was a new king. God knew the deficiency. Solomon was a clueless new king. God also knew the want. Solomon was a clueless new king who wanted to govern well. It's the same with us. He invites us to ask for whatever so he can meet us and meet the need, resolve the situation, and reveal his will in the process. We're only spiritual losers when we foolishly decline that miraculous offer. Safer is never better when it comes to prayer. And if you don't happen to receive the whatever, then ask God to search your heart and show you why. Maybe it's a timing thing, or maybe it's not for you. Whatever the reason, don't get discouraged. If your main whatever is to glorify God and to build his kingdom, he'll be pleased with your ask and will most certainly honor it. And who knows, you may even get the silly amount of extra. And with that, we're now going to turn to prayer time. Now, this is one that I, I just, I'm feeling called to let you lead on your own. I, I want you to boldly ask for whatever, whatever that might be. Um, and I just want you to ask for it in alignment, in alignment with God's will um, and just fully surrender that, hey, if it's not God's will, then by all means, you're fully comfortable with a no or a not yet. Um, but I want you to boldly pray for whatever it is that is truly on your heart. The bigger, the better. Um, the prayers that, that you really should be praying are the ones that for things that you would not be able to accomplish without God. They should be that big. Um, so boldly ask for that, making sure that they are at least, in, you're, you're hoping, uh, aligned with God's will. Um, and I hope to hear some great results from that for you. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. God bless and keep you.